Hey there, I'm the Epta and welcome back. Last time we cleared the semi-finals and found out that Leon is now off to Rose Tower for some reason and Piers is going to take us there. With Team Yell. I'm guessing there's story stuff. Man, why am I here for this? I t I'm totally exhausted from that battle with you and Epta. We decided that Team Yell will cheer you on, Epta. Let's help out together. Aw, he's so cute when he's not angry. What a beautiful display of sibling love. However, it is entirely unnecessary. You look exhausted. Miss Oleana? Chairman Rose is with the champion in a very, very important meeting. There's no way I will let anyone interfere. Oh, do we have to beat you now? After all, only authorized personnel with the proper key can ride the monorail to Rose Tower. That means as long as Chairman Rose is in the tower, no one can disturb him. I have hand-selected a member of the League staff and given them a key. Sean Rose does enjoy these kinds of menial games, after all. Do you think you can tell the difference between the normal League staff and the one I chose? Do you think you can find me? Yeah, you're the one with sunglasses on. What should we do? Uh, this isn't good, but I got this one. Yeah, the team's yell is really going to handle this. No, this is brilliant. I'll switch around in the front of the stadium. Okay. For now, we should try to head to the plaza together, right? Sure. Alright, let's work together and head for Rose Tower. Okie dokie. Let's find Olean's League staff member. The bad one is wearing those lame shades, right? Alright. Okay, um, can't actually see their eyeglasses because we're so zoomed out. Oh, hey, look at you looking very hard at the wall. <laughs> Say something surprising, Susan. She always gets to look this way. <laughs> what? Blast, I turned around and I can't escape. In that case, time for a Pokemon battle. Oh boy. Marco Cosmos is Eric? Marco Cosmos is Eric. Alright, is this a Meowth or is this the... This is a Meowth, okay. Let's just, you know, get this over with. Fast and easy. Why would you ever want to come against someone who just cleared the semi-finals with only two Pokemon? What are you thinking, dude? Okay. Sure. My cheers will really get you going. Alright? Alright. Speed rose sharply. That's fine. Why not? We'll just Pyro Ball this as well. We'll probably need to heal up our Pyro Balls at some point, but... It makes this a fast match. Mm-hmm. Alright. Don't suddenly talk to me like that. I accidentally turned around. What you gonna do now, bud? Oh, this is gonna be a game of hide and seek. It's a wonder how fast I could run. I've got no idea where he went, though. <sighs> oh, hey, you. Nope. Um. Are you over here in this corner? Nope. Where did he go? Huh. That's a really weird... Oh, there you are. Trying to be part of the conversation. <laughs> How did you find me? Or did you just talk to everyone you met? You're the only thing that's changed. So...
Not a while. Again with the steel Pokemon. It's almost like you don't realize that my team has two fire types. So you kind of have chose the worst possible case for yourself. Huh, we don't even need to use our good move. Alright. Alright. And extra drill. Feel that flow? Yeah, you fill it in, Nata. Yeah! Defense. Okay. I'm gonna Pyro Ball. I just like this animation so much. Goodbye, Excadrill. He's gonna eventually run out of, you know, metal Pokemon and, like, try something different, and I'll be like, oh my gosh. I even switched up my Pokemon while I was running. It would've been easier to switch them up where you were standing still. Maybe you'd have found a different type. They say hide in a tree in a forest, so I thought I could hide myself. Oh, hide a tree in the forest. <sighs> Why are you running again? In the phone booth. You're way too observant, but I'll win this time and make my getaway. No, you're not gonna win this time. Because you're gonna pull out more metal Pokemon, aren't you? Metal grass! Even better. Come on, Scott. It's just like the ice grass Pokemon we were training on before, except for metal. Eh, iron barbs are a little bit uncomfortable. Alright, Scott's up a level. This is a great training for Scott, really. And the Steelix. I'm gonna go with the Pyro Ball for this one. Alright. You're the best, Marnie. Ooh, yes, boost my attack. Alright, come on, Scott. Ooh. Goodbye, Steelix. These Pokemon are all, you know, one hits and duns. I mean, does he really expect to bother us? We just, you know, beat the hop in front of everyone. Where they could, you know, see the power of our team. Hiding didn't work and battles didn't work, so now the only thing to do is run. Stop running away. He's totally surrounded the phone booth. Good luck catching you on the monorail. Team Yell, go find Hop. We'll corner that league staff member at the station together. Alright. Let's see if... Can we heal up before, or are we just gonna keep going? I have a feeling we're gonna end up keep going. Oh yes, sure. Now there's four of you pretending to be nobody. You just, you did a crap job of cornering that bad staff league. Let me sing you a song fitting of your rockin' deeds. The only thing a humble singer can do is sing a humble song. Maybe I can't just cheer someone on with the tunes I play. Maybe my songs don't make anyone happy. Maybe I can't help. But still the only thing I can do is sing, sing my humble song. Piers! Go Piers! Oh, everyone's okay. Hey, isn't that Piers? Why is he doing a street performance? I think you mean a staging performance. Come on, let's see if we can get closer. Everyone's gonna come rushing down the stairs or something? That's a lot of people upstairs. Oh, the zigzagoons are rocking out. Alright, and everyone's coming running down. And they get cleared off the bad guys. We got the key, Piers. We can take the monorail to Rose Tower now. Oh, he's, you know, just gonna perform for his fans. You have to hop. Now's your chance. Go get out of here. Alright, cool. Rose Tower looks very stabby. But I mean, I guess Fitz being called Rose Tower. Alright. So this is Rose Tower. 
Just how tall do you think it is? I can't even see the top up there in the clouds. Alright, so what should we do? I mean, Team Yell's gonna have their hands full holding up the bad League members. They won't catch up anytime soon. Yeah, Nepto, what should we do? Uh, let's go ahead. Alright, let's go get Lee. Without him, there'll be no champion for you to challenge in the Champion Cup. Now you gotta do is charge on ahead. Alright, we're ready. An employee's an employee, I guess. Seems like that exec lady hid the monorail key to try and impress the chairman. Champion Rose has been keeping the champion hold up inside. I wonder what he's plotting. Oh, hey, look, it's Pierce. Times like this, when tension and passion run high, remind me of Spike Lee from the old days. Some wild, right wild concert we had back then, but no encores. Wait, you're still here? You better get going. I'll send some support your way with a yell. You gotta stick around and make sure my bro doesn't do anything too crazy. Come back if you need anything. Let's go. Okay. Um, are my Pokemon healed up? No. Alright, let's see if she can heal me. Nope. Alright then, I guess onwards and upwards. Do you hear me? I guess not. Okay. We are ready. Here we go. We still have one of our good moves, I think. Whoa, it's huge in here. What in the world is this place meant to be? Um, that's flowers under the glass. Don't know if you already knew this, but I've heard Rose Tower is built on a power spot. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? When we get to the roof and have a bit of space, we can Dynamax our Pokemon. Oh boy. Which is all well and good, but less certain is whether this lift can get us to the top. Rose Tower has, like, 100 floors, right? Okay. You'll be leaving right now, so there's no need to worry about the lift. Intruder alert, intruder alert. Oh, that's Oleana. All staff are ordered to please remove the intruders from the premises at once. See, if Miss Olean says so, then it looks like this is the end of the line for you kids. I'll get rid of the intruders. I'll, if I get rid of the intruders, I'll probably get a big bonus. Elijah. More metal Pokemon. Okay. Hey, Scott. Did you enjoy the previous battles? Because you got more. And if worse comes to worse and we start running out of movie on Scott, we'll switch Carol up front. Or use an elixir. We got plans. <laughs> Having to give up my pocket money means I'm back in the red. Maybe you shouldn't challenge me then. You just saw me beat people in the big screen. My, my bonus! My dream of finally- Aww. We need to speak with Chairman Rose. Tell us where he is. Get on the lift. The chairman's at the top of the building. Alright, we're nearly to Chairman Rose. Alright, let's go. Alright. Okay, funky letters that I can't read. Oh, I guess that's probably Rose written in. There are many. Oh! That was not what I was expecting. It's pretty, though. This is taking ages. It's a tall building hop. Ah, uh, we didn't get to the top, though. What? I don't think we're at the roof yet. Why have we stopped? Because we're being challenged to battle. You two are gym challengers, aren't you? Thanks for taking part in Galar's League Gym Challenge. Yet, I'm afraid that doesn't give you the right to interfere with our work. We will drive you out to protect the many subsidiary companies housed here in Rose Tower. Behold the glorious high-tech elevators of Rose Tower, able to withstand Pokemon battles. They are constructed by a subsidiary, Marco Cosmo Marco Cosmos at Construction. Alright, sure, we'll battle you both. Double battle with Hop. Alright, Jane and Mateo. Alright, oh, it's a little elephant! And the one little elephant. Alright, we will take on the Bronzong Hop. You can deal with the elephant. Please? I need that elephant. And you're body slamming the wrong one as well, which did almost nothing. Huh? Mm. 
Uh, iron defense. Alright, well, I guess I'm gonna trust that Scott can take one dig. And I'm gonna flame charge the bronze on. Because I would attack before the elephant appears no matter what. And maybe the elephant uh, decided to attack the sheep. How does it pronounce again? Where did it go? Where's your name? Alright, Carol's up a level. Cufant. Ouch. Okay, that actually didn't do as much as I was afraid it would. Alright, well, let's double kick. Follow my lead. Come on. Just help me out with the double kick to their wolf. Come on, Chibi. Oh, I guess. Or not. Let Scott just take all the work. Scott's got this covered. Come on, Hop. What you doing, dude? Alright. We created an extraordinary lift that's safe even for Pokemon battle. Nobody can beat Marco Cosmo's construction when it comes to dedication to our work. Alright, that's cool and all, but... Um, I've been defeated. I have little choice but to respectfully retreat. Yet I must ask once more, you please do not interfere with Chairman Rose's work. The elevators in Rose Tower are constructed so that only the floor ascends. But that presents some damage. That's the presence of these wall construct walls constructed of light. You can thank Marco Cosmo's construction for providing this wonderful technology as well. Alright, are we going to get a chance to heal before the elevator starts going up again? Wait, the folks working in this tower can stop the elevator from the outside at any time? We're just trying to get to the top already. Oh good, thank you Hop. That should mean we have full usage of the fire moves again on... I don't know how many floors are going by. On Scott. And slowing again. Okay, now you're over there. Okay, so that means we're halfway. Life insurance? MC being Marco Cosmos again. Kevin and Carla, playing and Molly. Like, what is with all of their metal Pokemon? This is like, what do you do if you didn't, you know, get any sort of fire Pokemon? This would just be brutal, brutal, brutal. Alright. Um, let's get rid of the Mawile first. Oh, didn't quite hit there. That's okay. Come on, double. Alright, that did something at least. Alright, shift gear is fine. I am going to attack the Clang this time. And that way, I think because double probably does enough for Mawile will be taken out of this. Come on, Scott. I guess I should have fireballed. Gear grind. Oh, poor sheepy. No, not double. Double? Rocket on one. Go sheep. If I could, I would take my turn to heal you just because I'm so impressed with you right now, double. I really am. Uh, we can keep our old moves. We don't need to forget. Thanks, though. Well, at least Flame Charge will finish off Clang. There we go. Poor little double. I mean, it's, that double cuffs it out on one. I'm impressed. How's double is, is impressive. Nobody can beat MC Insurance when it comes to dedication to our work. This building's well over 500 t You just said it was over 1,000 now. That's this tile is around 100 Machoke standing on top of each other. So they don't know how tall their own building is, because one person said it was a thousand feet. Unfortunately, our insurance doesn't pay out for being defeated in Pokemon battles. <sighs> Alright, goodbye. So hopefully we only have two more stops. And Hal has healed me up again, which means I'm not gonna shy away from using... Um... My Pyro Ball. Assuming that these are more metal Pokemon. And they're over here this time. You're nearly at the top, but you are not meeting the chairman. I've got no fear of heights. I work high in the skies during my job as 
for the lofty macro Marco Cosmos Air. Alright. Those Pokeball holders still don't look comfortable. Adeline and Justin. Alright. Felix and... Oh, evil stunt fist. Hmm. We're gonna Pyro Ball the stunt fist. Come on, Scott. Good job, Scott. That is an evil, evil stunt fist. It's a very inventive design, I will give them that, but I'm not a fan. Alright. Rock slide. No! Scott! Scott! Okay. Scott took that like a champion. We're gonna power ball again, because why not? Oh my gosh, I love this animation. I cannot get tired of it. Alright. Steel its vein is excellent. Alrighty. We have defeated two more of them. Nobody can beat Marco Cosmos Air when it comes to dedication to our work. You ever get that floaty feeling when a lift is going up? Alright, please tell me that we're done with it. Don't presume when you get to meet the chairman. You're not on the same level as such a great man. You must know that the high rises, such as this one, the higher up you go, the more important the people you find working there. Chairman Rose is at the top of the top, not just of this tower, but of all of Galar. He's met with us before, you know. Thank you. Let's do this. Okay, we're looking up. That should hopefully mean that we are... Yes. Hello? Wait. You're up here, but not the chairman. Nor his brother. Welcome to Chairman Rose's ex exclusive space. Here, nearly a thousand feet above the earth. So you go through all of that special stuff that I ordered to stop you. I would expect nothing less of the trainers handpicked by Champion Leon himself. But I'm afraid it's time for you to go home. Because I will not allow anyone to disturb the great Chairman Rose. Where's your- you had glasses on the last time we saw you, right? Alright, if I beat you to pieces and the champion will have no one to battle and thus lose heart. In that state, he will listen to anything the chairman says. You are creepy, lady. Please tell Marco Cosmos's Oleana. Crossless. Okay, still weak to fire. At least you got a full team. Are we going to end up Dynamaxing? Yes, we are. If your whole team is going to be weak to fire, then... Have I got news for you, lady. This ain't going to be fun. Alright, one down, four to go. My, my, how cheeky to put such things hurt my Pokemon. Alright, Mary's up a level. This is great training for the uh, battle. Ooh, okay, not weak to fire. Hmm. Frozen. Alright, Surf is special. Alright. Oh, come on. Alright, fine. Hmm. I can wait this out. There we go.
Alright, and then we Sucker Punch and hope that takes it out. Actually, no, you know what? We're gonna heal Frozone up. Frozone has battled very, very well for us, and it does not deserve our disregard. We would heal up any other Pokemon, and just because Frozone's moved the team doesn't mean he should get any less respect. There we go. Frozone's back healed. We're gonna use Surf again. It's fine. Nope, not that fun. Alright. It's gonna be fine. Yep. Okay, back, Frozone. Good job, Frozone. Okay. Lazzle. That's fire. And poison. Are we faster? Oh, we are not faster. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Frozone. <sighs> huh? Oh, we got water. Kevin can swim. Go find yourself a fish. Don't poison me. Alright. Alright, underwater, we're gonna take some poison damage, but that's fine. Missed me. Nicely done, Kevin. And we're gonna probably let Kevin take a hit from whatever comes out next, that way he can use his fish. Oh, never mind, this is not a good matchup for Kevin. Oh wait, Kevin's a bird! Kevin's is just fine. Alright. Trapped. <laughs> fine. Waste your one turn you were gonna get out here with me. I guess technically, I guess you did make me fall in love, so... But even if Kevin doesn't hit you, if you hit Kevin, and he uses his fish... Oh no, Kevin's gonna faint because he's poisoned. But at least, uh, that's down. I'm sorry, Kevin. <clears throat> sorry, buddy. Alright, who do you want to send out now? Um, let's go back to Scott. <sighs> Scott's got this. This is my last Pokemon series? Please? Olean's got to finish this. Garbodor. Creepy looking when she was angry. And that, whoa, that is quite the uh, interesting thing I'm asking for. I wonder if Dynamax is what everyone does and Gigamax is what the special ones do. And that's gonna bring out Sunny Day, I hope? Yes. Weak armor, lower his defense. Okay, I think we got this. Max Rock Ball. Ooh, that could hurt. Scott. Oh, now we're gone. 
Hmm. I don't know if it makes a difference, but we're gonna see if the base power... Ooh, he's faster than us now. God, I'm sorry, buddy. Alright, so we're gonna bring out... Who are we gonna bring out? I guess we're gonna bring out... Um, we don't have any options left. Um, we'll bring out Mary. Because we can retaliate. Alright, you just gotta survive this. Come on, Mary. Be the sheepy, I know you can be. Yes! Mary is bulk. <sighs> yes! Good job, Mary! Mary, like, you picked on my friends. Good job. You look a lot less creepy now. So I wasn't able to win. Oh, Leanna, you really are a helpless one. Aww, you're not helpless, you just maybe aren't champion level. Arg, this is inexcusable. What was I thinking? Any gym challenger who's made it this far would be no pushover. Under normal circumstances, I would have tried to delay you further. However, all the necessary wishing stars have been collected. Do as you wish. There is nothing to be done now. Typical Napta. You and Cinder Dancer and Stamp. And Cinder Racer are unstoppable. Everything I did, I did to further the chairman's own goals. Did they not notice the battle going on behind them? Leon, we've discussed this a hundred times already. And still you fail to understand what's at stake. You, who are supposed to be our champion. I think I understand well enough. What I don't understand is why we ought to cancel tomorrow's tournament in order to solve a problem that's a thousand years away from affecting any of us. What difference is one day going to make? My duty as champion isn't this, this madness. It's to carry out that championship match. That's what Galar wants, and what I want. It's what we've been looking forward to for so long. But no, you don't understand. You still don't understand a thing. Look around us, Leon. Look at the Galar region stretched out before us. And know that the energy required to keep this brilliant, glittering world alive will be exhausted a millennium from now. The people of Galar today will no longer even exist. What Galar wants today hardly matters. The future is more important than just one day. We must act as quickly as we possibly can. We must take action in order to avert tragedy, so that all can look forward to a better future. In a thousand years. Fine, look, I think I understand your concerns, Chairman, and I give my word I'll help you with your plans, just as soon as tomorrow's match is over. Thank you, Leon. Very sensible. Lee, you never showed up when you were supposed to, so I got worried something had happened. Peary's and Marnie and all those Team Yellow oddballs, they helped us get out to get here. I must apologize to you, Hop, if we've made you worry at all. There are times when adults just can't seem to have an honest discussion with one another. Sometimes our pride just gets in the way. Ooh, never mind any of this, Hop, Nata. Let's head back to the hotel, and we'll all grab dinner together, yeah? It's on me, so you can order whatever you fancy. If you'll excuse us, Chairman Rose, and I do hope you'll watch tomorrow's match. It'll sure to be one for the history books. Whew, I wonder if you tried to pick one if it would let you. One for the history books. You still don't understand, young champion. We, no, I am going to change the course of history. Rose, have you been the evil guy all along, kind of like I wondered about? The next evening. Oh yeah, I thought we were- oh, is the match in the evening? Alright, we're ready. This is it, did you get enough sleep? Why is it next evening? You and your teams are the ones battling, but I've had butterfruit in my stomach ever since I woke up. Aw, Hop's nervous for us. Challenge Nefta, the finals will be starting shortly. I'm here to escort you to the stadium. What's all this? Didn't you learn your lesson yesterday? If you need another help, 
Helping a pop and his trusty Rillaboom, I'll be happy to give you one. No, wait, please. I'm not like those League staff. I'm a good one, if I say so myself. I heard about what happened yesterday. Miss Olean can be a little extreme in her desire to assist the chairman with his goal, I'm afraid. It seems like she was cultivating her own group of League staff in secret to be deployed for, well, things like the debacle last night. But you've no way to worry about today's staff, for all of us are here for the right reasons. Well, if that's what she says. I guess we can trust her then, yeah? Zapta? Let's go, I can't wait another minute! Sure. Here we go! Alright. Zapta! This is it, the, here at the great sta Winden Stadium, the greatest stadium in all of Nalar, you're going to show everyone the greatest battle ever made and set the world on fire. So go get yourself checked in. Alright, and we will. Next time. Because after all of the fun with dealing with Rose and everything, I am tired. So we will have all of the fun of our championship match next time. Thanks you guys so much for joining me once again. I'm Mepta, and I'll catch you guys next time. Later!